Okay, so in this problem, we're told a uniform steel beam has a mass of 940 kilograms. On it is resting half of an identical beam, as shown in the figure. What is the vertical support force at each end? So I went ahead and drew uh, our system here, right? So we have these two support beams, right? And then we have this uh, steel beam laying across here. And then half of it, we have an identical one just laying on the side like this. And so they're asking us to find the vertical support force at each end. And so what they're referring to is there's going to be a force pointing up on each of the ends supporting it. We can call it FA for this one, and then we'll refer to this one as FB. And so what we're trying to do is solve for both of these forces. And so the first thing that we need to label is the force due to gravity, right? We need to draw the free body diagram. And so the only forces in this are these two support forces. And then also the force due to gravity for both of these. So for this one, it's going to be equal to mg, right? Because it's just the center of the beam, right? Uh, multiple, and then at that point, we have the force due to gravity, which is just mg. And then on this one, we have the same thing. But this one, keep in mind, instead of it being mg, we know the mass here is one half m since it's half the size of this beam. So this one is just one half mg, right? It's just half this mass times the gravity. So those are the forces acting on it. And let's talk about how we're actually going to solve it now. So the way we're going to do it is by summing the torque or the moments about a specific point. So in this case, we're going to choose that point to be uh, basically right here, right? So it's going to rotate uh, about this point, OK? And uh, yeah, so the reason why we're summing the oh, shoot. So the reason why we're summing the torque about this point is because when we sum the torque, we know torque equals force uh, times distance, right? So uh, we can eliminate this force B since the distance from it is zero, meaning the only force that is unknown when we solve it is FA. So we can just solve it. So we know the sum of the torque, right, is all the different torques added up. So we're going to have the torque due to force A. And so keep in mind, when you sum the torque, you do it uh, in reference to a specific point. So we're doing about this point, or basically, you can just imagine it along this axis here. It doesn't really matter where it is, because it's going to rotate, right, like that. And uh, when you do that, if a force causes it to rotate clockwise, you, the torque when you sum it up is positive. If it rotates uh, counterclockwise, you choose it to be uh, negative. So starting off with the torque due to FA, notice that it's going to push it up like this, and it'll rotate in this direction, which is counterclockwise. Therefore, this is negative. And then both of these forces, right, due to the, the gravity of each of these, are going to actually be positive, right, because they're going clockwise about this point. So we're going to add both of these. So we can call it plus T, we'll call it mg, plus the torque due to 1 half mg. And so, uh, yeah, now what we want to do is just solve for each of these. So let's start finding the torque of Fa. As I said before, torque equals force times distance times the sine of theta. So the force here uh, for the torque due to FA is just FA, right? That's the force. The distance is going to be from here to the uh, wherever this FB force is, right? Which is a distance of L, right? I'm just going to denote it with uh, L. You can choose what you want. Uh, but yeah, or actually they choose it to be L. Sorry about that. In, the, in their drawing, they choose it to be L. So we have FA times uh, L multiplied by the sine of theta. So what theta is, theta is the angle between the lever arm and uh, the force. So you can imagine the lever arm is like this, and the force is pointing directly upwards. Therefore, the angle between them is 90. Uh, we know the sine of 90 is just 1. So really, for all these forces, the angle is going to be 90, so we can just ignore this sine part. So basically, it's just Fa times L. Now we're going to do the torque due to the mg force. So the force is obviously the force due to gravity, which is mg for the beam. The distance from it is, it's in the middle of this beam, right? So it's just half of L, so L over 2. Now we're going to do the torque to the other beam on top of it, which is the 1 half mg. So as I said before, the force is 1 half mg, right? Because just because the mass is half. Uh, and then the distance for this one is just L over 4. We get half of this distance, so just 1 half times this, which is L over 4. And cool. So now if we sum up the forces, or sum up the torques, we have uh, 
And so keep in mind, all these torques are going to sum up to zero. The reason that is, is because we know the system isn't moving, right? And so since it's frozen in place, the sum of the torques have to be equal to zero, right? Because it's not rotating. So zero equals uh, zero equals FA or minus FA times L. All I'm doing is plugging in these things plus mg times L over 2 plus 1 half mg uh, times L over 4. And so now what I'm going to do is the trick here is we can set L to be any value we want. So right, because it's just an arbitrary value. But as long as we say consistent, it'll be OK. I'm going to choose for the value to be 1 because it makes it a lot easier solving. So this would be equal to minus FA. L is just 1, so it's minus FA plus one half mg, right, because of one half, plus, this is going to be one over four, uh, times one half is one over eight, right, uh, and yeah. So then moving this to the other side, you have fa equals one half mg, right, we want these to have the same de uh, denominator, so one half is the same as four over eight, four over eight plus one over eight is five over eight. So we have 5 over 8 mg. And uh, yeah, so the fa is going to be equal to 5 over 8 times m, which is the mass of our beam. They tell us it is a value of 940 kg. So uh, keep in mind, m equals 940 kg. So 940 times acceleration due to gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared. So we have 5 over 8 times 940 times 9.8. So this is going to be equal to a value of, right, so we have 5 over 8 times 940 times 9.8, 5757. Seven. Yeah, 5757.5 five, seven, five, seven five newtons, right, because we're dealing with force here. Uh, so this is just 5758, five, or just round to the whole number. So FA in this case is 5,758 newtons. Uh, so that was basically the hard part of the problem. Now to solve for FB, all we got to do is sum the forces in this Y direction here, right? Everything pointing up. Because we know it's not moving at all, right? So the sum of the forces have to be equal to zero. And so we know the sum of the forces equals zero. So what are our forces here? So we have FA. Uh, if it goes upwards, we call it positive. So FA plus FB, since we assume they go upwards, and then we minus the other forces. So minus one half mg, and then minus mg. So from half the beam and just the beam. And uh, yeah, so we want to solve for FB, right? So I'm going to move this to their side and these. So it's going to be equal to one half mg plus mg uh, minus FA. So uh, to make this a bit easier, we can rewrite FA because it's equal to 5 over 8 mg. So we can just say 1 half mg plus mg minus 5 over 8 mg. It just makes it a lot easier to solve. Uh, and then we know, right, 1 half plus 1. Let's just make them all over 8. So this is 4 over 8 plus 8 over 8, right, because 8 over 8 is 1 minus 5 over 8. So 4 over 8, so 4 plus 8 is 12, minus 5 is 7. So this whole thing is just 7 over 8 mg. So 7 over 8 times your mass, which was 940. Yeah, 940 multiplied by 9.8. So 7 over 8 divided by 940 multiplied by 9.8. When you do this, you'll get 8060. Point five. Since this is force, we're dealing with newtons here, obviously. Uh, you can round again to the whole number. So FB equals 8061 newtons. You can round however you'd like, though. Uh, but just make sure you round how your teacher wants you to. Uh, but yeah, so this is FA. This is your FB. Just a quick recap. We just summed the torque about a point to get rid of it. So when we solved it, it was just gone. So we summed the torque about this point for FB. And then, yeah, we just solved. Um, and yeah, and then for this one, we just summed the forces since we knew, uh, we already knew the one. So uh, even though there was two unknowns, we solved for one of the unknowns in the last problem. And then since it's not moving, 
the sum of the forces equals zero. And we just solve for the one we wanted. So your FA and FB, right, relative to our drawing uh, is right here. And yeah, so these are your answers. And hopefully you found this video useful.